Hey guys, Jayagone po, Keeps Hicks, and this is the latest video that I will be posting that you're most probably seeing right now. It's been a long time since I did one of these, and this video is just to show that I'm doing fine. Works just got more crazier than it's supposed to be, and uh, for the month of May, I have to really take a break from doing these kinds of stuff preparing for everything i have to focus for my uh work and i need to put my full attention to it so far uh we're doing uh, so far steadily that's um, i think i'm confident to say that we're around uh 50 60 percent in the project that i'm handling but that's about it uh, you could see my tweets on twitter and Check out what I what's on my mind, but nevertheless, let's get to the things that I'm catching up with. Starting with Niji Sanji's debut of their first generation English uh, livers. So this is an example of what could be your future if you become a VTuber at such a big agency let's maximize this window out just to see that this is a debut from niji sanji lazulite so they have mermaids uh okay they they have dragons is she, does she look like a dragon here uh we have fairies so uh, some people are already saying that this could probably be niji sanji's answer to hollow myth Holo Live EN. But then again, you can see the name of Hoshi Kawasara. She has a hand in producing their debut music track. It's, it, it feels like uh, Paviola, uh, Pavolia. <laughs> I, I, I have to remember the Caronia song. Just to remember Pavolia Reina's name. God. You know, yeah, as I was saying, um, this uh, Pavolia Reina of Holo Live Indonesia, the third generation. Third? Second. Second. I'm I'm getting my numbers wrong. <laughs> yeah, so so yeah. Uh he started with a debut song. Off the bat. Like the first few few seconds of the stream. Off the bat song. I don't know what will happen here, but as far as I can see, they're really doing things steadily. Niji Sanji English will debut their first generation on uh i i believe this is on a sunday let me check again the dates so june uh may 16 may 16 sunday at 10 a.m manila time that's 11 a.m jst gmt plus nine and this is their uh press release they uh may 12 2021 so uh upon scrolling upon uh, this one this page at the ichikara website uh, it says here that um, Hana Makia will be participating as the MC, the host, for these three ladies. So, Lazulite will have a debut special program on the Niji Sanji English official YouTube channel after they debut. So, this is, I believe, a debut relay. So, uh, about their debut song, I'm trying to read something here. Uh... Nelson Babinkoy. Okay, so Mafu Mafu is a songwriter compo composer, and Nelson Babinkoy. Uh, he has a lot, huh? And Sarah Hoshikawa, the baby, the baby of Niji Sanji. So virtual, who uh, also, yeah, she she lives in virtual England. And, but but then again, she said she baby. So uh, this is Niji Sanji English official YouTube channel. I'm I'm subscribed to this one already. I hope you are as well. And I'm I'm setting my reminder on just in case. I'm most uh, I believe I'll be uh, not active at that time. But then again, I'll look forward to see Lazulite on their debut special program now. Of course, uh, with everything that's happened so far in anime, the season is quite a banger. Uh, I've just voted on the Anime Corner Spring 2021 Anime of the Week. Number 6 
full and you can check this one out at animecorner.me so for this one i registered my bot let me refresh the page again i forgot to refresh the page so far here's my thoughts on the anime that has happened so far okay so i voted already for 86 86 already has a huge following and as far as i can see it continues to be a banger so yeah uh i have yet to catch up on the rest of the episodes maybe i'll watch it in one go but as far as i can see the saturday habit is already in full swing 86 and then i'll talk about another series later on now combatants will be dispatched my sunday night habit uh it's on news asia so southeast asian fans can watch it for free on youtube and this series is also a banger uh it does have uh, some cringy moments but then again the main character here is cultured as cultured as kazuma from Konosuba. By the way, this series and Konosuba are written by the same author. And at Anime Corner, where uh just just a disclaimer, I am one of the senior editors there. And on Anime Corner, one of our colleagues in the news team posted uh something about the relationship uh, or or uh the relationship between this novel uh, adapted into anime and Konosuba which is also a novel adapted into an anime. And, you know, uh, Natsume Akatsuki and Tape Nagatsuki, I hope, I hope I said those names right. You know, uh, these two guys really are having fun with themselves. <laughs> and they're really having fun with each other. Uh, you can see already the parallels between Konosuba and ReZero. And of course, a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, moving back, my colleague wrote about how that uh, how Tape Nagatsuki, the author of ReZero, helped or had a hand in unleashing this uh, title because Combatants Will Be Dispatched was written before Konosuba. So that's an interesting trivia right there. So we'll move on to. Uh, where is it? Yeah, full dive. Full dive. I, I already have reservations about this series, but it's developing quite well. So looking forward for future developments for the series. Will the main character in the series succeed at least in his full dive experience? That's one thing that we will have to find out. Hige, uh, Higehiro is uh, also quite a banger this week. Very, very thought-provoking. And so far, we have yet to see uh, what's inside this Pandora's box uh, in which uh, you can say that uh, in the first glance, if you look at the cover, it's not that quite wholesome, you know. But then again, you look at the series, you talk about responsible people doing responsible things. So, yeah, Higehiro, also on News Asia. Watch it. Slime 300. Slime 300 is my. Uh, if if uh, here's the thing. If others are rooting for say 86 or VV, I'm rooting for Slime 300. That's my Saturday habit. This is um, and I've I've said enough about uh, Slime 300 on my own, and it's a really 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 wholesome anime that you should put on your watch list. Setting aside. Aoyuki is there as the main character. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's good. That's good. So, go watch it. Go watch it. If you can. If you have the... If you, it's available in your country. So, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord Omega. I finished the series on Netflix before. I am happy with it. But the thing is, I do not see any good development or any good experience with this series so far. Maybe because of uh, Luna Machia. I don't know. I, 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 I think I will not like the character of uh, Luna Machia. Well, you, see, you can, you cultured, guy, you cultured guys can say that you love uh, 
Luna Maki, but I don't see the point. Maybe she's being used here as plot device. I don't know. Uh, there's this feeling of, you know, uh, you you felt disappointed that that uh, she was included there, but I hope that doesn't last long because, uh, as far as I can see, I've already dropped the series. Uh, next to say, uh, yeah, I, I I believe I dropped the series next to Osamake. I dropped the series. Sorry, I can't stand it. So I'm a spider, so what? Second core, I voted already. Uh, at first, I do not really like what uh, the developments because it's the weekly Kumoko explores things and all the same thing. And then uh, finally, I see I see good developments here. I I will have to see what, what will happen to this spider. He's a spider, so what? So... I just want to see her as something else, maybe an evolved spider. Well, she has evolved a lot. We're just waiting for that one la uh, one part where uh, things get sorted out. Because the timeline of the series, we talk about Kumoko on a different timeline. And then so sometimes uh, Kumoko gets into the current timeline. And then... You can see these uh, other characters like Flane and uh, Faye. Yeah, also, if on a second thought, if Kumoko and Faye met, I already had a lot of things in mind about pairing these two because they're basically Madoka and Sayaka. Who am I kidding? <laughs> But but Faye is good, ah. Huh? Faye, Faye, Faye is good. Huh? And she's she's uh, she's very good. She still doesn't want to be seen uh, transforming, though. Uh, which is well, I think it's it, it's a good move on that that part on the character's part. Uh, well, at least you still have your human sensibilities, even if you were in, reincarnated as a monster. So yeah, I'm, uh, so I'm a spider, so what? Second core, looking forward for more developments. More good developments on this series. Super Cub, every Wednesday. I think it's already up on uh, Muse Asia YouTube. I'm going to watch it. Uh, same with the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. You know, Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. Quite a long name, but it's a shoujo manga adaptation. I realized I was... Uh, watching a shoujo manga adaptation too late if not for my good friend Halimun from Indonesia Karin Santara uh, talking about it uh, isn't this a sho shoujo manga oh, yeah it's a shoujo anime adaptation and yeah I forgot I was looking at Say's face too much you see Say's face changes well you know, um, let's say comedic moments and then the serious moments. Yeah, that's that's safe for you. And I'm really loving this show. I'm really loving this show. Setting aside the fact that Yui Shikawa, that's it was basically Violet, Mikasa, and Tubi, who's voicing this main character. Setting that aside, the, the development, the plots, the stories, too cute not to miss but super cubs plot is a slice of life anime that really feels like non non beauty except that the the, the the people here are no longer thoughts uh, toddlers and the main characters have motorcycles with them they ride they go around town in their motorcycles so that's good. I'm going to watch the next episode as soon as I finish recording this. The Slime Diaries. The Slime Diaries. Cute as hell. God. Cute as hell. And the latest episode is also a banger. We'll we'll see more developments for this. But yeah, Milim. Milim's going on in the next episode. So yeah, looking forward to it. Vivi Florit Ice song. I... Also have to catch up on this. I glance upon one of the latest episodes and I can see why 
this is an underrated banger. Zombieland Saga Revenge. Uh, we featured this on Anime Corner. Uh, I also did the uh, write-up on this uh, during their feature at the Anime Japan event. And I'm really happy with the, the series. So, so far, I, uh, I also had to catch up on the series because the last episode I've watched is about Saki getting her own radio show. She inherited it from a legend. Well, she's now a legend on her own this time. So, yeah, that's the anime and the stuff that I'm catching up. So, going back to the corner where I first... Uh, started the recording this recording <laughs> yeah and uh, that would be it for me thank you so much for at, uh, uh, watching until the end of this video and yeah so far we're still doing good uh, I look I do look forward to execute my future projects I had in mind after the first second week of june uh so yeah um uh, i've been very active in a lot of uh conversations i've been in the rf talks i've been in the keep spice home podcast where in uh, me keepsakes then spice dudes that's ken and uh, jm from the stay at home podcast we gather together to talk about stuff and the last episode of the series is with Gabioli, the evil overlord Jabo. So watch it, watch it, watch it on Facebook. It's there. So with that said, my name is Jay Agone and this has been Keepsakes. I'll be back soon, but for now, let's rest well, stay home, stay safe, mask, hugas, iwas. Please be safe. We still have events to check out. Please, please stay safe. So yeah, speaking of which, Keepsakes still has a lot of uh, content, uh, even with my so called hiatus. You can catch up on my past videos on YouTube. You can catch up on the podcast, anchor.fm slash Keepsakes. And yes, do follow me on Twitter where I retweet stuff.